now you're starting to feel or see something just let me know how you feel i'm okay okay do you see something or you can go to to the moon to the you were describing what you were describing to me from the session that you wanted to check on the moon monkey related but yeah. just you can start talking about it and you'll slowly go into this vision yeah i think i have one vision of the moon when i was a child and there were a lot of pregnant people that's what came up pregnant people are they the monkeys uh, can you describe how it looks like the monkeys on the moon the particular you said elongated skull and they're blue do they have a lot of hair no the the monkeys uh, i see by a cave and and um in a spaceship mm -hmm. um, now that I watch it, then it's more a human face, but it's like blue paint, and the head is with no paint. Okay. How about the uh, do they wear a suit? Any kind? I see those monkeys, and they're interfering with our connection because there's a there's like a fleet of them. There's a lot of spacecrafts. Can you hear me? Yes. But it's like uh, I can see just hairy arms. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's like they want to show me something in a cave, but I I don't understand what. Um. Okay. Go like. Do you feel me around you? Let's connect and you can just follow me because I'm starting to see what they wanted to show you. I'm coming to you right now. Do you feel my energy? I think uh, am I by my right arm? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's go deep into the cave and Focus on the wall in front of you. There is some interesting device like built into the wall. It has the different rotating things in it and they're all connected. There is the one that looks like a big wheel with the, um, it's almost like a um, handle in the middle or but it's like projecting some ray of light when it spins. And I see like a lot of different um, spinning wheels of different um, size. They start spinning and the cave opens up. It's like it opens our stargate because it feels like something huge, like a stargate would be. And you know how to activate. You know how to open portals and you also know how to uh, activate stargates. What it feels like because it's your energy that you they would use for that. Because an aspect of you or fragment of you that's what you do. I feel like you're walking with those monkeys to, to for, for transferring energies from one galaxy to another, and not only energies. Yeah, they that's what they do, I think. They go from galaxy to galaxy, but the spaceship is very small. I don't see it right now, but that's how I saw them before. Okay, you can go back 
to the spaceship that you saw at the very moment and describe me the shape of it. It's like there are two monkeys in it mm -hmm. and it's very small because it's very small inside and it's like this, it's sort of round or over, oval and it's like only a glass cap on the front side. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see the same. Okay, try to enter this spaceship and see if it's the same small as you see it from outside. Inside feels bigger. It's bigger, yeah. Because they can manipulate the, um, um, how do you call it? It's like the density, the manipulation of the um, space, time, density, molecular structure. You know, you can see it as being small, but when you walk inside, it can be huge. Yeah. Look, look around, what do you see around it? Um, Are there more monkeys behind it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it's from the crawl you. Connect to them telepathically, ask them what they're doing and how you what is your relation to this all. What is it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Did you say? Does it have to do with war or investigations? Okay. But what are they doing right now? What does it have to do just now? Well, they're doing both at the same time. Am I in there too? What is that, sorry? It's like you're being cut off all the time. Yeah, I hear it too. Do, do you hear and, me well? Yeah, but I hear the connection is getting cut off in seconds and then you come back. Oh, okay, yeah, that's exactly the same. I feel it's somehow related to this monkeys and um, it, I feel it's going deep, like information wise. Ask them what they want from you. Like, what do you do with them? I think it's, I'm not sure, but is it like they take energy from me? Right. The, the, the spacecraft is connected to you. And OK, let's do this. Just going to from this particular um, imagine a vision and um, let's go to the moment where you first met them or connected with them and see how it happened on the count of three we are whatever timeline whatever reality you connected with them you're just gonna go there on the count of three one two three I think, um, I think like at a mountain, but also valley, and it's a cave. It's a, it's a what? Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, it's like a cut off mountain, I think, and I see a cave. You and see the key? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's observe the key. What is it for? Oh, 
Okay, look at yourself. How do you see yourself? Look at your feet. Just describe for me. You can get out of your body. If you're in the body, do you feel you're, you have a physical type body or you're just energy? Your energy. Okay, just go into your house and let's see how you live. You know what I see they're doing actually right now? Uh, they have they have some planet they're on like um they're literally all over the place on that planet. There's a green horizon and they have like a um, dome on the surface of the planet and that's where their information research center is located. And inside they're using some device it looks like a cannon with the rat plasma type thing coming out of it and they are shooting it to the from the screen there's like slides coming one after another like a domino kind of like a effect and they're shooting through all the slides i feel like the slides are the ones that you're trying to see but what they do they're trying to dis distort the picture and also mass was the connection because that device is multi-purpose in using the waves of different lengths. Mm 